Hey everyone, I'm Jeffrey Way, and in today's quick tip, really more than a quick tip, it's going to be a quick overview. So if you guys follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash uh, you'll know that I'm working on an iPhone app for the tutorial sites. But here's the thing, I don't have any Objective-C experience. So that's why it's fantastic that a, a service called AppCelerator allows you to build native desktop and mobile apps. I'm just working on the iPhone right now. But it allows us to build an iPhone app using the technologies that we already have. So HTML, CSS, specifically JavaScript. So what I wanted to do today is show you uh, the app that I'm working on, how it works, how it connects and correlates with the JavaScript. And then if this intrigues you later in the month, hopefully, we're going to be launching a, a big two-part series that shows you exactly how I built the app. So you can see here I'm just running the iPhone simulator. And if we want to load this up real quick, you can see it's, it's pretty much just a very pretty glorified RSS reader. You can see I can view by category the most recent tutorials. Uh, if we go back, uh, we can view all tutorials. And just quick overview here. I can click on one. You can see it has all its native apps. So we have the native animations, the bars. Uh, we're not working with any kind of web views here. So we're going to be building this all before the end of the month, but I wanted to show you how this correlates to the JavaScript and how you would go about writing that. So uh, it's all free, uh, mostly. Uh, you can see we download Titanium Developer, and then we can launch our JavaScript. So what it, it does is it takes your JavaScript and compiles it, and then it renders this. Let's go over here. So app.js uh, correlates. It's kind of like your starting point. So you can see here at the very top, I'm setting the background color of our app. I'm creating a tab group, and then right here, home window equals titanium.ui.create window. We're creating this window right here. And you can see it's really nice. We're just passing an object literal here. We're passing in the title, touch plus, a title image that references this touch little logo right here, and a URL. And this is a link to the JavaScript file that will handle the logic for that page. So for instance, that links to mainwindows.blog.js. So if I want to go in here, main windows logs. You can see here, this is the code for this home page. So you can see here, I've created a bunch of data. It's just an array of objects. Each object just has some information like a title. Notice all net touch vector touch and then all net touch vector touch. It's really, really easy to get started with and that's why I like it so much. Has child means that it will have a, a sub page and that's where the arrow comes from. Uh, once again, path. This is a path to the file that will handle the logic for that specific page. Uh, you can see here uh, we have a title image, left image, and this references for each one of these that references these little icons right here. So you can see it's really very simple here. So we've created a table, uh, some data. I'm creating next a table view, and notice this is in table form, and we're just filling that table view with the uh, the rows that we've created here. And then I'm just saying titanium UI, get the window that we're currently in, and add this table of data to our page. It's really simple. And then here, I'm just calling uh, add event listener. When you click on one of them, we want to load the page, but we want to load the path that we reference right here. So you can see, I'm just creating a new window, create window. I'm passing in just a URL, the title of the window, uh, any image that's associated with it. And you can see that's grabbing right here. And that'll just be each site's logo. Uh, a bar color, it's really simple. And then I just, um, and even this could be cleaned up, and then it loads the page. So you can see it's really simple to get started with the JavaScript um, knowledge that you currently have to build iPhone apps really easily. And what's nice is AppCelerator, uh, it comes with this kitchen sink app that shows you how to do everything imaginable. Uh, so you can just kind of look at the code that they have and model it for your own projects. So if this intrigues you, stay tuned to NetTuts in the next month or so. Uh, we're going to have a big series that shows you exactly how we built this app. Thanks for watching. Bye.